in this video, we will put together what we've learned previously to answer the question that has already come up several times. And that is, how do you construct a matrix with prescribed eigenvalues and eigenvectors? The eigenvalue algorithm helps us going the other way, given the matrix to find its eigenvalues and the corresponding eigenvectors. We want to go backwards, given the eigenvalues and eigenvectors, to find a matrix that has those eigenvalues and eigenvectors as its spectrum. So here's the ingredients that will go into answering that question. First of all, diagonal matrices have eigenvalues appear on the diagonal, and the corresponding eigenvectors are the standard bases in Rn, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1. So these will be the basic ingredients that go into our recipe. We should also remember that for a matrix obtained by a similarity transformation, and here I'm using D to denote the matrix because it's diagonal. Of course, the statement is true for any matrix, but we will use a diagonal matrix. That the eigenvalues are the same as the eigenvalues of this matrix, and the eigenvectors V are related to the eigenvectors of D, denoted by U, by this matrix. So right here on the board, we pretty much have the recipe for constructing that desired matrix. Because if we want to have certain eigenvalues, let's say 3, 7, and negative 8, we should just put them on the diagonal and stick this diagonal matrix into a similarity transformation. And that would guarantee that we will get the eigenvalues 3, 7, and minus 8. So that guarantees that we get the eigenvalues that we want. Now D by itself would produce these eigenvectors. So we have to choose X uh, properly so that the eigenvectors that result by this similarity transformation are the eigenvectors that we want. So let's take a look here. What should that X be? Well, our U's, the eigenvectors of the matrix D, are right here. So whatever X we choose, the corresponding V will be the columns of the matrix X, right? Because any matrix multiplied by this vector, and the result is the first column of that matrix. This will produce the second column of that matrix, and this will produce the third column of that matrix. So as long as we put our eigenvectors, our target eigenvectors, as columns of x, and, uh, and evaluate this similarity transformation, we'll have a matrix with prescribed eigenvalues, because the eigenvalues are the same, and the eigenvectors will be the columns of the matrix x, exactly what we pre-planted there. And that will produce the matrix with desired eigenvalues and desired eigenvectors. That's very easy to see, and this pretty much anticipates the eigenvalue transformation. The one, answer, the one question we haven't answered, and the one question this doesn't answer, is, is that matrix unique? Or could there be another matrix that has the same eigenvalues and the same corresponding eigenvectors? So that will remain unanswered until we do talk about the eigenvalue decomposition, but the only thing that remains for this video is to show you on the computer that this indeed leads to a matrix with the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors that we want. Let's construct a matrix with these eigenvalue eigenvector pairs. And according to the strategy we have just devised, the eigenvalues go on the diagonal of the middle matrix. And let's fill the rest with zeros. And the corresponding eigenvectors go into the appropriate columns of the matrix on the left. And on the right, we have the inverse of the same matrix. So now let's use the computer to evaluate this triple product. Of course, the computer will also invert the matrix on the right. And the result is this crazy matrix. So we now need to make sure that this matrix indeed has these eigenvalues and these corresponding eigenvectors. So the way to test it is to multiply these matrix by each one of these vectors and make sure that we get the appropriate multiple back. So the result of this product should be three times this vector because the corresponding eigenvalue should be three. And the result is correct. Now for the next one, the output should be seven times the input vector. So the first number will be 105, then 49, 21. Exactly. 
And finally, the multiple here should be minus 8, so we're expecting to see minus 32, minus 16, minus 8. And we do. So we have indeed constructed a matrix right here with these eigenvalues and corresponding eigenvectors. So our strategy works.